uh, I request Dr. Ravid Nawale to kindly proceed for summing up the session and share his valuable views with us. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. The chief organizer and the director of Prerna College of Commerce, Nagpur, and a very good friend of mine, Dr. Praveen Jizoshi, the management authorities, resource person, Dr. Jyoti Patil, who too is a good friend of mine, principal of the college, Dr. U. A. Lanzewar, sir. Convener, Dr. Deshmukh Bharati ji, program coordinator and who is in touch with me since last week, Neha ji, Dr. Priyanka ji, my good friends and speakers of next session who are present here, Professor Amar Singh ji and Dr. Tejeshwini ji Patil and rest organizing committee members of this two-day national conference on blending education with advanced technology for effective teaching organized by Prerna College Nagpur and esteemed participants who are accessing this event through Zoom as well as YouTube Live. A good afternoon to one and all. Friends, I have been associated with both Dr. Joshi and Dr. Patil since more than one and a half decade. And had been very close to them and had been at both their residence as well as office twice, thrice. And seen their dedication to work, which you must have observed in both in Dr. Joshi in his way of organizing this national event with international standard and enthusiasm and in Dr. Patil regarding depth of the topics he had selected, the knowledge and the quality, unique quality, fabulous presentation. In fact, I was totally far away from social networking as well as any academic activities or events since last months due to some fatal things happened with us in the second wave of corona pandemic. I was not in position to accept this invitation or come over here and talk. However, I could not deny any invitation of Dr. Pravinda and as we are supposed to accept the destiny and show must go on and so I am here today to moderate or share Dr. Jyoti Patil's session and I am honored and privileged. Thanks. Dr. Pravin Joshi sir and the team Prerna College Nagpur. At the outset, I have to appreciate the talk plus presentation of Dr. Jyoti Patil on utilizing PPT as an effective cutting edge tool for innovative teaching and impressive presentation. She has very wonderfully explained the dynamic innovative and advanced use of PowerPoint presentation tool. Most of us were confined only up to the PPT developed by Microsoft, which is integrated with our Microsoft Office, MS Office. However, she talked on different presentation tools and wonderful and awesome apps like Prezi, Canva, and even Android PPT apps, and so on, and explained, expanded our horizon, our knowledge. Most of students must have witnessed the teachers sharing their PPTs through Zoom or WebEx or Google Meet in online classes held in lockdown under work from home and quality of their PPT. And you must have compared it to this PPT. And you must have understood that only when effectively planned and used a PowerPoint presentation can enhance instruction. 
it does offer effective ways to enhance instruction when only used and designed appropriately using multiple modalities proper fonts color combination images audio sound music animation and video and interactive slides help to improve comprehension of the students the level of their comprehension so as dr jyoti patil said to use it as an effective cutting edge tool that is advanced tool is very important and hence i would like to say that there was power as well as points in her talk as i congratulate her for such a powerful talk with full of points to consider friends the pressing issue in today's education is directing our students entire attention to the classroom and providing them with a clear comprehension of the topics because the audio visual processing pathways of the human mind register sights words and sounds in, in sensory memory the audio visual ears have been shown to be advantageous to learning as a result when audio visual ears were provided most learners were seen to be more attentive the majority of students like their instructors use of audio visual aids like ppt because it boosts their attention and ability to remember the contents if audio visual aids were used in the teaching and learning process they would be more driven to learn the combination of verbal and visual features in computer generated slides appeal to learners though different people see and experience things differently we all have visual cortex commonly a region of a brain which is responsible for integrating what we see that appeals us because of integration of sound music files audio video effects photos graphs data in a good ppt as we have seen in jyoti patil's ppt it appeals to our senses more sensory stimulation is possible with such types of powerpoint presentation only the teachers knowledge alone is insufficient to ensure that the students un understand the subject the presentation of the lecture is also crucial in nowadays time as a result in addition to the classic chakan talk method the use of powerpoint presentation is rising day by day traditional methods are no longer meeting or addressing the demands of learners or advancing their cognitive development learners <coughs> must acquire specific scientific information and abilities that will aid them in communicating problem solving developing ideas growing self confidence and becoming professional leaders in their future specializations as a result powerpoint presentation play a very important and necessary function in teaching for the more it improves the sense of enjoyment and engagement among students while assisting the teacher in achieving their goals along with this when employed as an effective cutting edge tool as stated and used by dr patil it can play a significant role in generating a dynamic environment for teaching and learning <coughs> powerpoint 
is a fantastic program. A wonderful and adaptive solution that integrates with dozens of third party apps and tools as it, it is shown demonstrated by uh, resource person Dr. Patil in our presentation. <coughs> it provides many features like animation. Furthermore, you can effortlessly convert a presentation into any popular format which is needed to you, which you can even embed on, embed on your website. It may improve learning by offering a greater understanding and comprehension of the subject as well as diverse methodologies, procedures and techniques within the same slide. This range of tactics within the same slide as we have seen now, such as adding images, sounds, colors and animations might bring together all types of learners means kinetic types of learner or auditory types of learner or visual types of learner and provide them everyone the opportunity to be active learners and increase their interactivity almost on a sudden in today's classroom almost all the students today's students are agreed that the usage of various such audio visual resources make the class more interesting and entertaining and appealing. A long class might be quite difficult for them if the teacher fails to keep it engaging. They quickly lost interest in the lesson. However, several forms of AV aids can elevate their boredom, elevate them reduce their boredom. Students have started that, stated that when the instruction gets more appealing and attention grabbing, they are able to pay greater attention to it. It adds variety to the class. It has been observed that when teachers envision the contents of any audiovisual resources, Learners grasp the lesson better. Furthermore, the usage of PowerPoint presentations enhances attention and stimulation of the class. The main cause for the drop in class attendance is a general lack of interest or the boredom and neglect the students. PowerPoint presentations bring together the three groups of students auditory, visual and kinetics as I already stated. While visual learners want visuals and images, auditory learners require sounds. Furthermore, kinetic learners must participate in activities in order to acquire things and gain a better comprehension. PowerPoint presentations, including slides, animation, photographs, video, videos, key parts, transitions, changing points, shapes, images, animated text, charts, and some novel touches as demonstrated by Jyoti Patil Map, provide for customized and interesting them. It helps for interesting learning. Student, students' active participation has emerged as one of the prime concern and goals of learning and teaching in higher education institutions, not only in India, but all around the world. And that's why the PowerPoint presentation, this MS application has grown widespread recognition for conducting, arranging the meetings and delivering talks. <laughs> A well-crafted PPT 
or a lecture has the ability to disclose the organization of a talk, emphasize the speaker's idea, illustrate patterns and the data and capture and hold attention of the audience or the learners. However, many presentations do not make full advantage of PowerPoint capabilities and capacities. A traditional presentation or lecture might be tedious and boring. Students appreciate a good presentation and how it used up has an impact on them. Microsoft intended to give PowerPoint users a plethora of capabilities. However, this does not imply that you should employ all of them. Use anything that will help to make your presentation more interesting. For example, as many things are mentioned by resource person, even though a couple of things I would like to add or mention here, caption should be added to all videos and audio contents. Captioning ensures that students can follow what is on the screen in real time. It is preferable to have multiple slides than to try to fit too much text on one. Instead of transcribing your lecture, use quick points rather than extended statement or paragraphs and outline essential ideas rather than using long sentences of paras. Use the notes function to include information in your presentation that your audience will not see. However, it will help you. To emphasize content, use italics, bolds, and proper color combination. Avoid utilizing too many colors or changing colors too frequently throughout the, the lecture. And this might be distracting to students. Use clip art and graphics cautiously and only when necessarily, when it is needed. When needed, add motion, sound, or music. Using animation will bring a touch of novelty to your presentation. Examine the presentation for spelling, proper word usage, information, flow, and overall its appearance. Make your presentation multimodal. Sitting through a dull presentation in which the speaker simply talks at the audience might lead eyes to guess over and the speaker to lose interest and attentiveness. Even after, even in post lunch session, it was the first lecture or the presentation by Dr. Jyoti Patil, but more than 65 to 75 audience were there online and nobody left because that power was there in her presentation. Remember one thing that your PPT should establish a connection or a good rapport with your students. Including interactivity in your presentation is ideal method to spice up your speech or presentation, to engage your audience and differentiate yourself from other presenters or the teachers. Dr. Jyoti Patil covered almost all issues related to utilizing PPT as an effective cutting edge tool for innovative teaching and impressive presentations. She is a techno savvy. When I organized the one next sponsored a national event in my college, and we introduced the first time in this area, in this location, not in my university, first time, online Skype presentation, and uh, very wonderfully. Uh, she presented there too. That was the first event in which we introduced the uh, online paper presentation facility. And when I visited her college, she was she is also now Mac accessor 
uh, she was principal as well as uh, IQ coordinator. Uh, we, in fact, I never went through such a beautiful presentation on the PPT. However, to supplement her talk, I recommend audience to visit a couple of websites. One of the mostly widely accessed website about PowerPoint presentation is Presentation Zen, that is of Gar Reynolds. In his blog entry, what is good PowerPoint design? Reynolds explained how to keep the slide design simple, yet not simplistic, and include a few slide examples that he has made over to demonstrate how to improve its reliability and effectivity. The second side that I would like to recommend to the audience, to the students, like teacher, that is think outside the slide. It is by another presentation guru, David Paradi, who is also author of the visual slide revolution, where he demonstrates PowerPoint slide makers. Examples on this site are typically from the corporate perspective, but the process by which content designs are made is relevant to our higher education, is relevant even to our personal presentations. I have full appreciation to Dr. Jyoti Patil for her vigorous, wonderful talk. I too have learned a lot from your talk man. Last but not least, I have to say that use of PowerPoint presentations plays key role in anatomy to learn and understand the particular topic because students learn what they enjoy more. And as Dr. Patil has emphasized, using it as an effective cutting edge tool is equally important because as like any technology, the way PPT is used will determine its pedagogical effectiveness. However, it is important to know that PowerPoint can only be seen as good adjunct to a good teaching. I would like to repeat that PPTs or such presentations can only be seen. We have to see toward it only as a good adjunct. Would, would, as a good adjunct, a good substitute to a good teaching. There would be no point in using PPT if it is not supplemented by a good subject knowledge and a good teacher. Given the opportunity to listen to Dr. Jyoti Patil uh, after a heavy gap and uh, interacting with your students, I am privileged once again. Thank you. And I wish all. Uh, the tonight I, I went through some uh, of the presentations uh, in uh, morning session also. Very wonderful, Dr. Thora talked very wonderful, Dr. Kambe. Very wonderful, all presentations. And uh, uh, for audience, uh, if you don't know that Dr. Joshi, sir, is retired, he's super animated, even though non stop he is here without break. Even I observed that he has not taken 15 minutes break for his lunch also. And I salute his stamina and his dedication and his concern for his situation when he was working as vice principal there at the, the, that college also. And when he was he organized one All India Teachers Conference, I have seen many, in many instances, I have seen uh, his dedication to work. Salute to him. And uh, once again, thank you. Namaste. Very wonderful, sir. Wonderfully explained, wonderfully summed up. And even the participant must have learned a lot and lot from a summing up itself. We have covered almost every point. And Dr. Duti Patil also gave a wonderful presentation and she has taught teachers how to make PPT. And Dr. Arvind Naule has explained to you how your PowerPoint presentation should have 
power as well as points. Sometimes there is power, but there are no points. And sometimes there are only points and there is no power. Arvind, that reminds me of a particular remark on a PhD thesis. One of the examiners had written that this thesis is both that is good and original. But whatever is good is not original and whatever is original is not good. <laughs> so there are presentations which have power but don't have points and there are sometimes points but there is no power. But uh, Dr. Jyoti Padil's presentation was really excellent from both perspective and your summing up. It covered all the necessary aspects. At the same time, you added so many other things which the participants must have learned. I'm sure here after whenever they make presentations, they will take care that the presentations are engaging, interesting and uh, effective. That will be the test of successful presentations. So. Thank you both of you for contributing a lot of time and guiding the participants. Priyanka, you can proceed. Okay, thank you once again. And uh, I wish my two close friends are here. Dr. Amar Singh is very, very close. And uh, Dr. Tejishwini Patil, we both, we are associated with one group which we initiated. Now, Dr. Praminda is, uh, has taken charge of it as I was absent for many uh, time. I wish you all the best. Uh, probably I may not be present here, but I will watch your presentation uh, later on YouTube. I wish you all the best to Dr. Amar Singh and Dr. Uh, Tejishwini uh, Patil for your presentation. And permit me uh, to take leave of you. Dr. Amar Singh will be available tomorrow. Okay. And most of the participants are eagerly waiting. For he was there. I, I saw him. He was there. He was listening to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Joshi sir's presentation. After okay, no problem. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Even I, I'd like to take from you. I'm taking you up. You thank you. All the best. Yeah. Okay, sir. Bye. Nice interaction. Priyanka, you can proceed. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your valuable views with us and some, uh, summarizing the session in such.